To me, one of the more intriguing parts about college football is watching the true freshmen. When a player makes a transition from the high school field to the college field, it is obviously much, much different. That's why you have absolutely no idea what you're going to get until a player steps on the field. Every year we see five stars who flop, four stars who become superstars, and then underrated recruits come out of nowhere. It's always a mixed bag, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the top true freshmen in the country and focus on the running back position. Today we're gonna talk about the eight top freshman running backs in college football right now, go through their stats and how they've done, and then determine who is the best so far. But before we get into it, be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like if you wanna support the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss when I upload. Now let's go ahead and get started. The first guy I wanna talk about is Trevor Etienne. He is obviously the younger brother of Travis Etienne, who is the all-time leading rusher in ACC history, was a Clemson superstar, and now is currently with the Jacksonville Jaguars. This probably helped Trevor a lot, as his older brother would kind of set an example for him. The family was from Jennings, Louisiana, and ETN became a big deal when he got to Jennings High School. By the time he was a senior, he had a ton of major offers. His final three included LSU, Clemson, and Florida. As LSU was close to home, Clemson had the family connection, and at Florida, he loved Coach Napier and an opportunity to make his own decision. He'd ultimately wait until the Army All-American game, where he would choose the Gators over both the Tigers. According to 24-7 Sports, he was a four-star recruit, the number 14 running back, and the 190th overall player, and he would arrive at Florida with a log jam at running back. Naquan Wright, Montreal Johnson, and Lorenzo Lingard were supposed to be ahead of him, but ETN found a way to get on the field as a true freshman. So far, through four games, he has 201 yards with two touchdowns. He had 64 yards in a win over Utah, 56 yards in a win over USF, and 46 yards in a loss to Kentucky. He's been a solid number two option for the Gators so far, and this guy has a lot of talent, and when he's properly coached, I think he's going to be a star for the Gators. Up next, we get to the first of two Penn State running backs in Katron Allen. Guys like Saquon Barkley and Miles Sanders set the tone for what a Penn State running back should do, but ever since then, they have struggled to find that guy. This year, though, they found two star freshmen, and the first of which is Katron Allen, who originally hailed from Norfolk, Virginia. He transferred down to IMG Academy, where he got to develop and play against better schools, and that's why he gained over 30 collegiate offers. He would blow up on the recruiting scene and eventually narrowed his schools to Michigan, Florida, Florida State, Penn State, and Georgia. He chose the Nittany Lions, and this was a huge get. He was a four-star recruit, the number 12 running back, and the 155th player in the class of 2022. Allen would arrive at Penn State and make an immediate impact. He beat out Kayvon Lee for the backup running back position, and through his first three games, he got off to a good start. He had two touchdowns in a row over Auburn, and then this past weekend, he had his breakout performance. He ran the ball 13 times for 111 yards in a score against Central Michigan, and that was the game where everyone saw this guy's talent. So far, he has 217 yards and three touchdowns, and he's one of the most talented young freshman running backs in the country. There's always that one three-star or underrated dude who blows up as a freshman, and this year, it's Richard Reese from Baylor. Coming out of Belleville, Texas, this guy had an insane high school career. He ran for over 4,500 yards with 53 touchdowns during his time there, but despite that, he would not really get that big of offers. When he committed to Baylor, the only other schools that were interested were Texas State and Houston Baptist. This was extremely shocking, but obviously the coaching staff saw something in him, and he would end up going to Baylor. According to 24-7 Sports, Reese was a three-star recruit, the number 58 running back, and the 710th player nationally. I don't think anyone expected him to have a huge freshman year, but with Abram Smith leading for the NFL, there was a chance he could win that starting job. Right now, it looks like that is his job. In their first game against Albany, he ran for 62 yards and two touchdowns, and then two weeks later against Texas State, had 156 yards and three touchdowns. This past weekend in a win over Iowa State, he ran the ball career-high 21 times for 78 yards and a score. So far through four games, he has 315 yards and six touchdowns, and is averaging nearly 5.7 yards per carry. He's off to a historic start for a Baylor freshman, and Reese is getting more known each and every week. He definitely makes a case as the top freshman running back in the country. This next guy has probably the weirdest story on the list, as we're going to talk about CJ Donaldson. He's been a breakout running back for West Virginia, but everything about this guy's story is weird. First of all, his name is not even CJ, as it's actually DiCarlo, and he came from Golver Prep in Miami, Florida. The guy was seen as an athlete who pretty much did a little bit of everything, but he was only considered a three-star recruit. He eventually chose the Mountaineers over Florida, USF, and Tulane, and would come into the West Virginia program not really being talked about. He was the number 52 tight end, a three-star recruit, and the 933rd best player in the country. There was no reason to expect this guy to be great as a freshman, let alone as a running back. After the tight ends coach discovered this guy's talent in practice, the Mountaineers eventually moved him to running back as they had lost Letty Brown to the NFL. 
Donaldson impressed, and then in week one, he got a chance to start. They'd play on that Thursday night game against Pitt, and in that matchup, he'd go off. He ran the ball seven times for 125 yards and a touchdown, and put his name on the national radar. In an overtime loss to Kansas, he'd go for two touchdowns and 48 yards, and then he'd continue his hot start against Towson as he ran the ball for 101 yards and three scores. This past weekend, he had over 100 yards against Virginia Tech, and right now he's the only true freshman to have three plus 100 yard games. He has 380 yards, averages 7.3 yards per carry and six scores, and is a pleasant surprise to this Virginia team, and he has an extremely high ceiling moving forward. Donaldson definitely has a case to be the top freshman running back. The next guy we need to talk about is down in the SEC, and his name is Quinshawn Judkins. Judkins hailed from Pike Road, Alabama, and quickly blew up as a high school recruit there. He ran for 2,613 yards and 41 touchdowns in his junior and senior season combined, and with him being in a football talent rich area, he quickly gained a bunch of offers. Schools like Ole Miss, Auburn, and Notre Dame recruited him extremely hard, and those would end up being his finalists. He'd eventually choose Ole Miss over them and would pledge to head coach Lane Kiffin. At the time, he was only a three-star recruit, but he was definitely an underrated gem. According to 24-7 Sports, he was a three-star, the number 46 running back, and the 562nd best player in the class of 2022. With both Jerry on Ely and Snoop Connor heading off to the NFL, Ole Miss would need a new running back. Both Zach Evans and Ulysses Bentley transferred in, but Judkins has made his presence known. In their first game against Troy, he went for 87 yards and a touchdown, and then against Central Arkansas, he went for over 100 yards. Against Georgia Tech, he had 98 yards and two touchdowns, and then this past weekend, he had his breakout performance. He ran the ball 27 times for 140 yards and two touchdowns, as they would beat Tulsa. Right now, he's leading the team in both yards and touchdowns, and that says a lot, as Zach Evans is seen as a big-time NFL prospect. Lane Kiffin trusts this true freshman, and Judkins has great stats. He's ran for 429 yards and five scores, and if he continues this, he could end up being the best freshman running back in the country. Earlier, we talked about Katron Allen. Now we need to talk about Penn State's superstar freshman, Nick Singleton. He's not only one of the best freshmen, but probably one of the most talented backs in all of college football, and this was honestly expected. He went to Governor Mifflin High School in Reading, Pennsylvania, and had an incredible career. He ran for more than 3,700 yards in three years and averaged nearly 16 yards per carry. He became a blue chip recruit and visited schools such as Penn State, Texas A&M, Notre Dame, and Alabama. All four of them would fight for his talents, but eventually he would decide to commit to Penn State. At the time, he was only a four-star recruit, but eventually he'd get his fifth star. According to 24-7 Sports, he was the number one running back, the number one player in the state, a five-star recruit, and the 31st best player in the class of 2022. While Kayvon Lee was gonna be the starting running back, everyone knew Nick Singleton was gonna have a chance to perform. So far, he's lived up to the hype, as after his slow start against Purdue, he went for 179 yards and two touchdowns against Ohio. In week two, both him and Allen would shred the Auburn defense, as Singleton went for 124 yards and two scores in that game, then this past weekend, he had 42 yards against Central Michigan. On the year, he's averaging nine yards per carry, has 376 yards rushing, and four touchdowns. He's made some incredible plays, and he reminds me of a young superstar player. Both him and Allen are an insane one-two punch, and I'm really pumped to see how they're going to do for the rest of the year. Singleton could easily be the best true freshman back in the country. Before we get to our final two, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you're supporting today's video. Michael Carter, Javante Williams, and Ty Chandler have been really good for North Carolina over the last few years, but they would need a new guy to step up this year. They look to a true freshman by the name of Omarion Hampton. Coming out of Cleveland High School in Clayton, North Carolina, Hampton had an insane college career. As a senior, he ran for 1,949 yards and had 39 rushing touchdowns. He had 12 games of 100 plus yards rushing and would total 43 touchdowns as he also caught and scored on special teams. He got a ton of big time offers and visited Auburn, Florida, Ohio State, Penn State, and North Carolina. He took all of them very seriously, but eventually he decided to stay home. He committed to Mac Brown, and this was a huge get. According to 24-7 Sports, Hampton was a four-star recruit, the number 11 running back, and the 153rd player in the class of 2022. He had arrived at decent hype and would perform in his first game. He went for over 100 yards and two touchdowns against Florida A&M, and then had another touchdown against Appalachian State. In week three, he'd go for over 100 yards and two touchdowns against Georgia State before he was limited on the ground game against Notre Dame, but had a receiving touchdown. So far this year, he has a touchdown in each and every game, has 256 yards rushing, is averaging 5.3 yards per carry, and has six total scores. Hampton might not be the most nationally known freshman, but he's definitely up there. The final player we're gonna talk about in today's video is Jaden Ott. In the last few years, Cal has not produced many big time running backs, but Ott could be the next star out of there. 
Coming out of Norco High School in California, Ott quickly blossomed into a four-star recruit. He did so well, he got offers from schools such as California, Colorado, Oregon State, Wisconsin, and USC. He'd quickly commit to Cal before he would later decommit and examine the rest of his options. After going through the recruiting process though, he'd eventually recommit to Cal, becoming one of the best offensive recruits in nearly a decade for them. According to 24-7 Sports, Ott was a four-star recruit, the number 23 running back, and the 274th best player nationally. With Christopher Brooks gone, Ott would step in right away and become the guy. He'd go for over 100 yards in their first game against UC Davis, and would also have a receiving touchdown. He combined for two touchdowns and nearly 70 yards in a win over UNLV before he was slowed down against Notre Dame. He was off to a decent start, but then this past weekend against Arizona, he went insane. He ran the ball 19 times for 274 yards and three touchdowns. He averaged an absurd 14.4 yards per carry and is now putting himself near the top of all freshman running back. Through four games, he has 463 yards, is averaging 8.3 yards per carry, and has combined for a total of six touchdowns. Both him and transfer quarterback Jack Plummer are giving this Cal offense some life, and Ott is super fun to watch. So who is the best true freshman running back in college football right now? That one is very difficult to tell. Jade Knott has the most yards. Both CJ Donaldson and Richard Reese are tied with touchdowns. Nick Singleton has probably showed the most flash. And Omar Hampton, Richard Reese, and Quinshawn Judkins have also been a lead. I would say Katron Allen and Trevor Etienne are in a second tier, but if I had to pick the best true freshman right now who's been the most consistent, I'd have to say it's CJ Donaldson. He has the most touchdowns, has the most 100 plus yard games, and I would give him the nod. This is an extremely close race though, and I love all eight of these players, and I'm super pumped to watch how they're gonna do in the future. But what do you think? Let me know who you think the best freshman running back is in the country, who's an underrated player I could talk about in my next video, and be sure to let me know any situation, coach, player, topic, or anything I can cover next. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe before you go. Also, don't forget to check out all my other videos on the end screen. And I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.